welcome back i hope you're all doing really well and welcoming this holiday season coming up i couldn't be more excited this video is definitely a jumble of things paintings that didn't go too well and some paintings that went really well so i thought i'd share just a little bit of everything that i've done this month and yeah this first one right here, as you saw, I am going to paint my husband from life and it started out really well and then once I put in that first eye, I knew that everything was just going downhill and it's always the eyes for me. I don't really know why I have a really hard time with the eyes. So I've actually been drawing a lot more than painting recently and maybe I'll start to film that instead to show you what I've been doing but I really am trying to practice portrait drawings and yeah just getting better at uh, what my weaknesses are. So after not such a great painting I went to the greatest place of all time, the place where you get all inspiration kind of reconnecting my roots to why I love art so much and just giving me that booster of painting again. set up a still life of yellow roses and my husband has actually been wanting to learn how to paint so you'll see him throughout this video pop in and out um, and I think it's been so wonderful to see his beginning journey and remembering mine and also comparing it to how I see things and do things now I almost don't realize that I've Grown. So it's really humbling to experience this and see him go through this, especially challenging himself with such a hard subject because I still have a really hard time with roses. But as they say, with every single painting that you do, whether it's good or bad, you learn something. And that is definitely very true. This painting process I show a lot more of, so I'll be sharing most of it here with you. But before we continue on, I want to share this little gift that got sent to me. I want to thank Pear Eyewear for sponsoring this video and for also sending me this wonderful gift. It really got me in the holiday spirit and I just loved it so, so much. So thank you again for sending me this gift. If you guys don't know about Pear Eyewear, Pear Eyewear sells amazing affordable glasses where you can also get top frames just to change your look. They're super easy to put on and take off. They have these magnets at the corners of the frames that just plop onto your glasses and you have a brand new look. These are the frames that I got for this holiday season and I thought they were super, super cute. If you're looking to shop online for some glasses, check out PearEyewear.com to see the variety of top frames that you could get. You can get prescription glasses just for $60 and then switch up your look with some beautiful top frames. So if you're looking to get yourself a new pair of glasses or for a loved one this holiday season, don't forget to use the code ANACORNEJO15 to get 15% off your first order. Thank you so much to Pear Eyewear for sponsoring today's video.
continue on with this painting, I am starting to bring back the darks and then putting in the lights. What I realized once I put in the lighter values is that my darks look too dark. <laughs> and I think yellow roses, specifically the color yellow, are a lot more difficult. I don't think I've done yellow roses before. I usually do red or pink, but there's something about this yellow that was kind of driving me insane. <laughs> and I also don't think that it helped that I chose a warm background. I think I should have maybe used a cooler background or a color that complemented the yellows instead of a color that is very similar to the color of the rose. Once I put in this highlight, you can kind of see that shadow on that front rose seems a little too dark, so I tried to go back and play around with the colors um, to see if I can shift that value a little bit more. But it seemed my eyes were playing tricks on me, and after playing around, I actually really am pleased with the results. I had a lot of fun making this painting, uh, especially the leaves and the jar were very, very loose, which I was trying to achieve. So it inspired me to paint another rose painting. This time these roses are pink and unfortunately I did not film the entire process for this painting. I think I got lost in the painting process and completely forgot to press record at some point so I only get the beginning stage of the painting and then just the final painting. These are flameless candles, by the way. I got them on Amazon and I highly recommend it. I have pets in my house, so I don't like to light any real candles. So these flameless candles have been beautiful and the actual candle is made out of wax. So it looks and feels pretty real. <laughs> uh, I would highly recommend getting something like this, especially if you do a still life like this. I wouldn't light a real candle because I don't want to burn my roses <laughs> or cause an accident. So yeah, that's what I'm using here in case you notice in the clips. Also, I want to give credit where credit is due. <laughs> this still life is 100% inspired by a still life that Jared Brady did. I will post a little picture here of the painting I'm talking about. He's just so amazing. Here are some final clips of the final painting. It was so fun to paint and I really hope that I can try out this still life once again. To end this really fun video, my husband spontaneously surprised me to a live painting session in the city. I had no idea we were going. I went straight after work and I just decided to share these little clips that he captured throughout the night and I thought it was such a wonderful experience and after all of these ups and downs with these paintings, Surprisingly, my first live painting session went really, really well. Thank you so much for hanging out with me today, and I'll see you here very soon.